Dead Workers Party on Smite, episode 23, recorded on October 19th, 2013. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. And I'm Eric Fullerton. And our special guest tonight is Brent Copeland. Hi, Brent <laughs> Copeland. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Is your hat your special guest? No, I was just being a special guest with myself. <laughs> Brent is special. Um, so, in many ways. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. I we got a, there. We got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Um, we have about two weeks of stuff to talk about, and uh, we're going to condense it down into 30 seconds. Go. Um, Done. I, I played a lot of Bacchus, and it was fun. And there are new oh, skins, yeah. and people are complaining about some of them. Cool. Thank Sorry, you. we went over time here. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, uh, I had a uh, fun week. Uh, I actually played more down here at the Dead Workers Party Party than I did at the rest of the week, and it was so much fun playing with people in the same rooms. Yes. Uh, unless I was on different teams from uh, Falcon, and he kicked our butts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that wasn't fun so much. And and uh, and Waff with his, with his Changa. Yeah. He was getting good with her. Yeah. Taught, taught him everything he knows. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a level <laughs> level five or level six Changa. It's kind of like the old Team Fortress two days. You knew those two people who would be the heavy and the medic, and that's what they were. Yeah. They were the heavy medic combo, so we, we had to break them up. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. They weren't allowed to slap them on the hand. There you go. And then I was sad that uh, I didn't get to say bye to folks because I, I had a, uh, a cyst and a tooth that needed to be pulled from my gum. Uh, mm, manually mm, mm. Um, and I wish Thor had been there to just like fly up in the air and like come down and just like oh, ram gank, it out gank yeah so I ganked your tooth gank it out so but I'm doing good now so I'm all good oh yeah uh, but anyway for the people I missed uh, bye <laughs> good seeing you bye uh, but next year we'll, we'll have fun again so and we had go some ahead really great people down yeah Rain Karin so it's it's most, raging, raging most Cajun. people won't know who that is because that's yeah. not the way that he normally pronounces it. Uh, Mechanical Jack was down. Yeah. Falcon. Falcon. We had uh, RP Gamer. Yeah. All did some great stuff. Nivik One. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clyde. Pretty much everybody was playing Smite. There was just a few people not that haven't really played Smite yet, but uh, we're getting them into it. Yep. Yeah. 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 A couple guys from work came down here. Noah and uh, Jesse and. Uh, his girl Charlotte, and uh, are we gonna screw ourselves by not naming every single person? Yes, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Travis was here. <clears throat> Aztec Consulting was here. Aztec yes. was definitely here. He's running the stream. Indeed, the interviewing stream. people, having a good uh, time. Theo. Oh yeah, Theo. 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 Uh, I'm going down the table now. Like, get that seat. <laughs> get that seat. Get that seat. Afro Monkey. Who you've heard on the show mm-hmm. <laughs> a few times. Who isn't here because he's still recovering from yeah. the weekend. Um, okay, well, let's just get on the phone book now and just start naming people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we can name their builds. That's right. So yeah, item Aries, item. Aries, he likes to go kind of... Uh, anyway. So, yeah, that was our week. So we got a slow news, and it's odd because we skipped last week. Sorry about that. Is uh, Blame Dwip for it uh dwip got in the way and, and we didn't want to leave you hanging another week so uh here we are and uh so news we got a new skin the jack yep pumpkin thanato skin and it's really super awesome except it's very monotone and it's thanatos mm. yeah i don't i i, I would have liked I want some other Halloween stuff. Like I, I, seems I want a Bakasura with a big pumpkin head. Yeah, but Bakasura has like 20 skins already. He does, yeah, yeah. You know? And so I, does Cupid, I guess. That would be weird. You know. But it would have been nice to have like five. One for each roll. Ooh. Maybe of Halloween skins. Yeah. Because uh, like I said, I don't, I don't play Thanatos. And do you really need to pump up Thanatos? He's the new god. Yeah. Like, let's, let's go. But people have been complaining about it. I, I don't like the skin because it's very monotone. The whole thing is just orange. I mean, it's, it, it, there's not a lot of contrast on the Does skin. Does it just itself. glow from his head or is it Well, no, it's orange? just like his, his whole outfit is, is orange and like orangey brown. Yeah. Like, there's not a lot of contrast. There's not a lot of differentiation. Which, I mean, mm. I guess is kind of similar to the way Thanatos normally looks. But um, I haven't seen it yet. I just see the picture. That's I, all I see. I watched the little animated thing. It's pretty cool playing against him. When he does his uh, abilities, his head kind of bobs around. Yeah. 
Uh, it's pretty cool. But he looking. also has this laugh. Like there's a, there's a sound that comes off of him, and people have been complaining about it because it gives away your position. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so like uh. you know you've got this like laugh that's consistently going, you know, that's and true. people can hear you through the jungle and know you're coming for them. <laughs> uh. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, don't play that skin if you're gonna jungle. Yeah, yeah. That's what you've learned here today. Today. So yeah, we want more of these skins. Uh, take some people off the paint bucket duty and get them on skins. <laughs> That's what we want. Because they did give us two more uh, golden skins, golden Vimana, Vimana uh-huh, skin, yeah. and I can't believe I didn't haven't gotten this one yet. But the golden Isis skin. Oh yeah. So now when we do all golden games, I can grab that one. Yep. Have you guys seen the the epic Vimana glitch? No. It's been happening. No. I hope they don't fix this. I know they are, though. So, Vimana will sometimes be stuck in big baby mode. Uh huh. And w- he's running around all crazy and he does his big um, <laughs> umbrella and he's like giant. And uh, I remember the first time I saw it, the guy was like, Are you guys seeing this? And everybody's like, Lol, 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 lol. I mean, it was the funniest thing. I don't know if the opposing team saw it. I'm pretty sure they yeah. did, but it was just like, he wasn't alting. He was just a dude standing yeah. around. There's giant over there. Uh, uh, it was it was awesome. It was so when he awesome. did his umbrella spinny dive, it made his legs move fast like he was little, but he was big. Yes, yes. Oh, that's hilarious. Everything was giant. It was so cool. But when he went to alt, it uh, when he he ulted, and then all of a sudden he's the same size, but he's all slow. You know, and he's like, bap, 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 <laughs> hitting people on the head with his umbrella. And then when it was over, he shrank, and we're like, oh, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> that was the awesomest thing. Uh, so please don't fix that. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> don't fix it. Make funny. it happen more. Yeah. Put more happen. bugs in the game. Yes. <laughs> more buggy That's kind of weird. <laughs> so, and, and the Jack, um, Jack the Reaper pumpkin Thanatos, it is only available uh, during the holiday season, which apparently ends November 6th. So get it while you can for 400 gemolions. See, I'm, I'm kinda, gonna do it. Are you, kinda, yeah, are you I mean, gonna I, do it? Well, I feel like you need to if it's gonna be a limited edition kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna be interested to see whether they bring back the other holiday skins, like if Jingle Hell and and mm-hmm. and Merry Christmas. Um, What's make, that one? That's Bacchus's Santa Claus skin. Oh yeah, okay, Bacchus. Yeah. So yeah. was there any other Halloween skins, or was it even out then? Um, yeah, I guess it's been out yeah. since they celebrated the year. But no Halloween skins? Because that's how we can test, right? Just go look, see if the Halloween I don't remember any other Halloween skins. Open. I don't either. Yeah. There were the two Christmas ones. There was the Easter one for Bakasura. Yeah, Feaster Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, next thing we have is there's a Halloween fan art contest that'll be going on from October 11th through the 30th. Uh, players will have a chance to show their artistic talent and celebrate the season. Season. Now you got me saying Merry Christmas. Season. <laughs> so players must submit new artwork using this form, which is on their website. Make sure to select the Smite Halloween Art Contest in the drop down. They must be newly created uh, during the month of October. Of this year, they can be an image of any medium, sketch, digital sculpture, pumpkin carving, which I think is usually the most popular around these times, right? Like, yeah. like do your pumpkin skills. Um, but there's some uh, official policies. Go read the high-res legal stuff, and I'm sure it's like no boobs or something. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's Athena. Then you Athena get these super big boobs. <laughs> Uh, keep it clean, harsh language, or obscene content will disqualify the submission, and winners will be chosen based on the best M M Abdi. I think that's a misspelling. Uh, <laughs> the combined themes of Halloween and Smite. Uh, Inna and Kala will announce the prize winners during their live show on Friday, November first. First place, ten thousand gems. Second 10, place. 000. Second place, 5,000 gems. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And third place, 2,000 gems. That's pretty good, too. <laughs> but holy crap, man. 10,000. 
Ten gems. Thousand gems. That's a lot. And I would win ten thousand gems. And I would, I would win. So I guess they so you could buy everything. Could you buy more. all the gods and all the skins with ten thousand? So I wonder if my like tier Fenrir slash fan fiction is like considered fan art. <laughs> huh. <laughs> one mm. one has to ponder. S and M spots. <laughs> Uh, so also on November 2nd, Extra Life will be hosting their 25-hour game marathon for charity. And hi Res wanted to join in to aid and make a team smite. Nice. Uh, they're making a call to all smite streamers, players, and fans to register on Extra Life and join Team Smite by joining this team on or before November 2nd. They will ask us to stream Smite and ask for donations toward Extra Life to help children in need. Uh, so when you register... Select join a team, get Team Smite, and select it. Uh, High Res Bart will be streaming. Or yeah, yeah, they'll start their uh, fundraising prior to November second, and most likely partake in the insane antics with High Res employees to help them kids. So yeah, that sounds like a lot of good stuff. Awesome. Uh, and it's all for them kids. All for them kids. Them sick kids. Yeah. So, good. A lot of charity stuff going on right yeah. now. Good stuff. So, when we move into Hugging a Mun, and I got to laugh. Why? Did, 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 are you the one that copied this one in here? Uh, no. Okay. Yes. No, I haven't read it. Okay. This is from Ryden, and um, this is actually, like, it's going to kind of be embarrassing for him. He says, I think they should add Hephaestus, or the Greek, the Greek god of the forge, or his Roman version. Well, his Roman version is already in the game. Vulcan. Vulcan. Oh, okay. Vulcan is the is the Roman version of Hephaestus. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. The god of the forge. But right. uh, Raiden did have kind of some good ideas of what could do for it. He could be, be a support class, and he could raise the defense um, uh, for other gods, and he could uh, sharpen um, blades to raise the attack damage of other players oh okay so anyway uh and okay. i think there's some other things in there like what if he could repair towers whoa uh, i think I that would know. be too powerful to think uh, about that. that's that's what well, if that's, only one side had it that would be devastating i don't know but each side could technically have one but basically I mean, you'd be losing out on whatever other abilities he doesn't have right, right. Yeah. balance Balance. That's interesting. And, you know, I was wondering um, how they chose uh, Greek over Roman um, in diff- different areas like uh, Poseidon versus <laughs> Neptune and yeah. stuff like that. Or if they would ever put the opposing one in as well, you know? I think that's a good question to ask them some point in time. Like, what, what's, what's, give, what's making them choose? Because, you know, Bacchus is the Roman version. Dionysus is the Greek version. Yep. Um, and they are putting some Greek characters in there but not as many as the roman ones so yeah. i don't know romanists or yeah. greekists yeah i don't know I'm like i could see a dionysus in there like to me that would dionysus and bacchus but even though they're the same dudes? god well, but you could do variations of what they are right yeah i mean though they're kind of the same god i mean there's still some things to separate them right like dionysus is more like drama and arts and wine well um and Marcus is blah 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 well uh, they're pretty much the same god the weird thing is is that like the depiction of bacchus um is is like the way that dionysus was portrayed early in his mythology and like later on, he was like a lean young man, you know, okay. eating um, them grapes. And and mm-hmm. so I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, there might be some logic behind it. We should ask him. Yeah. Yeah. So and um, Hiram Definition points out there's two sun gods, Ra and Apollo. Yeah, but not in the same pantheon. Hmm. And I mean, the Roman and Greek pantheons are essentially the same thing. Mm, essentially, essentially, they're very essentially they're all gods. Uh, true, ah, but even even ah. burn, <laughs> burn, <laughs> but like even, a sun god. <laughs> no. But even but even the like. <laughs> oh, I think um, I pulled the, the stitches grapes. out of my gum. Oh no! Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yikes. But even the mythology on it, like if stories about Zeus and 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 stories about Jupiter are the same stories, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. 
Um, is Apollo a sun god, though? Apollo? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's the god of music and poetry. How does that have anything to do with the sun? Uh, because that's the way that they organized everything. Oh. You know. It's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Apollo was a sun god. Uh, okay. I'll buy that for a dollar. Ra was a sun god. Your, they'll fa- probably your do face a, is a sun god. They'll probably, do some other, they'll probably do some other sun gods. I mean, they're thinking about bringing in another god of death. Oh, yeah. Uh, and another it? monkey, I hear. Yeah. Two monkeys. T- Sun Wukong. Is coming back. Is coming back. I mean, we always kind of knew that. And daughter Wukong later. <laughs> but uh, but they're Wukong. also talking about bringing in Father the time. the uh, Chinese um, death. Oh, and I can't remember the name. It was oh, like it's a crazy name. Muzan, Muzan Kuei or something like that. Yeah. So the Chinese Kuei. God. Yeah. That's cool. Muzan Fowl. I love the, the um, Chinese gods. Those are cool. Yeah, because it feels, it feels very alien. We're not exposed to a lot of Chinese mythology. Yeah. So it feels very different to me. Mm-hmm. I like it. The names oh. upset me. <laughs> Maybe yeah. more uh, creepy Can't creatures, too. Like, Bacasaur is very creepy. Arachne is very creepy. Like, yeah. I want some more kind of, like, creepy horror-type characters. Yeah. Yeah. And weren't you saying you really want to put in some Canadian gods? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Moose face. Or, no, no. Moose no. face, the god of the tundra. Moose. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I, I mean, I do think maybe some creatures. Like, what about... Um, like, Fenrir is kind of like a werewolf. I mean, he's kind yeah. of scary, you know. Yeah, he's more of a beast than he is a god, really. Yeah. Okay. And I think they could do some stuff like that. They could, you know, bring in the um, bring in the Kraken, the original Kraken. Bring in, you know, I mean, there's oh, all yeah. kinds of things they could do. And I think it would be cool if they basically, especially in Conquest, I think, kind of changed up the jungle from the the because they they're kind of doing kind of the normal uh what all other mobas do these little pack of whatever minions but what if each one was like one of these famous like creatures from different mythologies you know like a hydra and, and oh, wendigo uh, a that wendigo said, wendigo devil turnip said bigfoot right well, that's those are canadian gods <laughs> <laughs> Is what they're talking about. Uh, Tim Horton. That's a good one. <laughs> but like the, uh, the what was the three headed dog or Cerberus. two headed Cerberus. Cerberus. Yeah. Yeah. That was like actually that. mentioned on the, on the smite uh, subreddit. They were talking about, you know, why is it always the Minotaur? What if like sometimes it was Cerberus or, you know what I mean? You could oh. trade out the God. I mean, trade out the thing you're defending on each side. And it's just the model, right? Yeah. Like, you know, and I saw, and I saw another, um, another comment on it. Um, someone was saying, why don't the two sides have different minions? Yeah. Why doesn't one side spit out men and one side spit out skeletons or something? Yeah, or women. (laughs) (laughs) Women. (laughs) Women. Women. (laughs) Yeah, or beasts or some, like, slugs or some, I don't know, anything, whatever. Yeah, slugs, that's good. What do you think, (laughs) Notch? Slugs. (laughs) And there's also also been a lot of talk on the Smite (laughs) subreddit. A lot of people are getting really excited about about adding a lot of Indian Hindu gods. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to add any more of those. Those, Well, the problem with the Hindu gods is they're still worshipped. Oh, yeah. They are an active pantheon. Um, And so there's a lot of sensitivity issues with, you know, like taking gods that people actually believe in and, and, you know, putting them into a game where they fight other gods. So I think they'll put the Blair Witch in sometime. (laughs) Blair Witch. What about Kali, though? She's is she still being worshipped? No. Oh, 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 wait. Yes. Yes. All the all the Hindu gods are Hmm. Kali. Bakasura. Well, Bakasura was actually kind of a hero, not necessarily a god. Okay. Uh, but uh, but Kali and um, there was another one. I can't think of it right now. But yeah, they're still worshipped. Hmm. Okay. So there's Kali. Kali greens. Kali greens. Mm-hmm. It's like southern. <laughs> Do you like some butter on them Kali greens? No. <laughs> Okay, so well, um, well, that's about it. Okay, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it's uh, you know, I don't know. Is there? We need people to like start mailing in like some discussion topics. Like, what what yeah. would you like us to like discuss? Yeah, yeah. 
because uh, I mean, we can talk about anything forever. We played, <laughs> just have we played a couple stuff. hundred matches between this and the last episode, and it's like there's a lot of stuff there to talk about that yeah. might be. Well, let's talk about our game tonight to fill out some time here. We did a little three v three action. I was uh, Mercury. I was Bacchus. You were Bacchus. Uh, you were Anubis. Oh, yeah. I was Anubin it up. Anubius. I was Goobus. And I thought we were doing pretty good for a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they were Sobek, um, Aphrodite, 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 and, and Loki. Loki. And, you know, I got to say, I wasn't really that scared of Loki. I, I He he really, I he didn't show up in the horrible times that he could have. Yeah. To me, he just kind of sat back and waited and got the, yeah. you know, got the kill that was going to happen anyway. Yeah, I you agree. Know? So I wasn't like worried about him. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, Sobek Aphrodite duo was deadly. Yeah. Yeah. He, she kept him healed almost all the time. Whenever he got locked down f- for Anubis to spew all over him, she would use her ult and get him out of it. Mm hmm. Um, Whenever I tried to flip him, she would do something to get him out of that. I don't know if yeah. it was a stun, if it was a kiss on me, or if it was her, her AoE. And between the two of them, they had a couple of stuns, and they interrupted my stuff as Bacchus left and right. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I wasn't hurting Sobek at all. Like, no matter what I was doing, I wasn't hurting him. He was good and armored up. You know, at one that was point, all pretty um, much Eric's fault. Well, I, I, I place the blame solely on his shoulders. <laughs> I threw down uh, hands, and he stood right in the center of the hands and did a taunt, and let the hands deplete completely. Really? And I was watching his health; didn't even go down. But and what was odd about I that though is he only had one magic defense item on. Like the really? rest was physical it was health. defense. He did the six hundred health one, and uh, and all I can think of is just half. like Aphrodite, and yeah. maybe she did the birds at the same time, and so maybe. He was but he just, just stood right in the center. I was like, dude, 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 just dude. That was dude. horrible, dude. It was not. I mean, and that's but the two of also like Aphrodite has to be close to her to her target to do stuff and Sobek doesn't move around really fast yeah. and so it was it was kind of awesome watching the two of them in concert and then I would jump and that Sobek was good enough to where he could tell where I was going to land and have his flip going when I was coming down and it would flip and as soon as I landed he would flip me over his head it was horrible oh yeah also um, kind of a neat trick that uh, Loki pulled was that uh, he would hit B and let the animation go about three quarters of the way before you actually get teleported back to your base. He would cancel it and then go invisible. So it would look like he actually popped out. Right. But he's actually in the lane still. And then, you know, he creeps up on you. But the problem was he didn't didn't execute it very well. Like, he never really did anything after the fake, the fake out. Uh, plus, uh, Brent, you, you spotted it and let us know that that's what he was doing. So when I saw him do it, you know, from then on, it was like, oh, yeah, he's doing the fake out thing. I mean, it's a neat, it's a clever idea, but you got to execute it better. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, just doing the, the, his invis or his one, I guess, it's going to cancel the B back anyway. So. Oh, so he just probably did the one and yeah. yeah so yeah. just wait till it's almost about to go out and then hit your one and then and then pop out. Yeah, and uh, you know we started warding against him and and like I said, he wasn't really the threat so much. It was the, yeah. The you put the wards punch. up on the sides and that was over for Loki. I mean, we saw him standing around in the hallway like dum de dum de dum waiting for us. Well, and I really feel like that Sobek was hitting hard, but he was also all tanked out. I don't. It 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 freaks me out. I don't feel like I do a lot of damage when I go when I go tanky with Bacchus, mm-hmm. but I feel like Sobek still does a lot of damage as a tank. Yeah, no, I agree. I I think he probably does more damage than a lot of other tanks. Uh, but you know, I think if you start going more damaging and not tanky, then all of a sudden you're dying more. Like, you didn't yeah. die like any, did you? I died in the last 30 seconds of the game. Oh, yeah. So it's like, and that's a testament to tanking. I mean, that's your job, <laughs> yeah. is to keep them off us and, and not die. Uh, yeah. They didn't really stay off of us, but that was probably more <laughs> our fault than anything else. Yeah. 
Well, he would he would do they they would flip me and a lot of times it would hurt, but for the most part I could usually get back to the front lines without having died if, yeah. when he yeah. flipped me. And I think that's pretty much every time. Yeah. True. <laughs> so, that's true. So let's talk about uh like uh short term goals or maybe long term goals. Like um I'm I'm planning to get a level one in every god and also I want a level ten neath. Well you can't. On- what? How, how, uh, don't don't you run out of levels eventually? Well, there's level tens in everything that you could complete everything. I thought you could only get thirty or as many as many levels as there were gods. Wasn't yeah. that the original thing? Yeah, there's like forty two, forty three gods now. Yeah, so you get forty three. I mean, that's what I want to do. I, I want to get at least level one in every god. Okay, and then a, a, a ten in neath. And then ho- hopefully Cupid and Anubis. Those are really my top three right now. Yeah. Um, so I've I've got a uh, uh, eight mastery right now. I'm working on Arachne now next. Um, but that's kind of my goal now is to get everybody at level one. Yeah. That way I've learned everybody. I no longer have a hatred for any of the gods right now. <laughs> Previous <laughs> episode. Oh, I hate that one. I hate this one. Yeah. I like all the gods now. And now I'm focusing. I've just got to narrow it down and focus on one, get them to level one, and then move on. Yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, I did that, and I got as far as uh, I got to Anubis, and I'm like, I love Anubis. Now I got Anubis up to, like, level three or four. And I just, you know, so I get stuck on a god. I'm like, but I don't want to play another god right now. But I'm tearing myself away to go Arachne. My um, own definition wonders when you're going to do Odin. Oh, yeah. uh, I will eventually. <laughs> you know, I played Odin so many times in just assault that it's it's halfway to one. So, or it's over fifty. Well, yeah, that would be halfway. Um, so I don't know. And you know, I wasn't really worried about getting like playing all the gods. Like I still haven't played uh, Mercury or Thanatos because I'm really not interested in them. Yeah. But then like. Then you get in an assault with a character you don't like and haven't played all that much, and then you just feel like a loser, and you're like, i got to learn to play that god. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't want to feel like that. I want to know every <laughs> god and have fun with every god. Yeah. So, And I always hated Arachne. Like, I'm kind of starting with people that I, I don't really know anything about. I'm like, I just don't want to learn them. Yeah. You know, but I'm just going to make myself. And I I really like Aragni right now. Really fun. Aragni has her moments. Yeah. yeah. Good. Move on, because I want to start playing Anubis more. Oh, that's right. I kind of took a Goobus yeah. from you, didn't I? Yeah. So, <laughs> but what, I what think you, I what just got one to Anubis. I think I, right now my goal is really to get, uh, I think, twelve of them to uh, I forget like the first rank or whatever where you, you can start getting ranked. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's my goal is to be able to uh, get in some ranked matches and just see how those are. I'm afraid of that. I, I have am the too. <laughs> I have the requirements, but I'm like. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Hold me. Yeah. All they can do is yell at me more. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's true. And I'll yeah. tell them, ha ha, I do a podcast about this game. <laughs> so I will talk about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got in a match and somebody was like, is that the real Eric Fullerton? And another guy was like, who's Eric Fullerton? <laughs> And then the other guy said, he does a podcast. And I was like, whoa. It's like a, a listener that yeah, just happened some, to. Yeah, don't you remember that match we, we got in? Where he's like, I'm playing with the DWP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. you guys suck. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys don't know what you're talking about on that <laughs> show. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. So what are you? What are you? What are you doing? Are, are you? Are you wanting level one everybody too? Well, or? I mean, I I kind of just wanted to get level one and a lot of the gods that I liked, but I, like I said, I'm I'm kind of tired of like feeling like I have like like people are complaining about tanks and having to play them. Yeah, and I like Bacchus. I think Bacchus is a lot of fun, and I figured. Like, why don't I play Bacchus for a while and get really good with him as a tank? Mm-hmm. And then that way I get to cover a role that nobody wants to play. True. It'll be harder to kill me, so Brent can't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I still can. <laughs> I'll find a way. But uh but that's kind of where I am right now. I'm I'm le- I'm just playing Bacchus and trying to get better and better with him. Um I've stopped like I've I'm sort of 
go in straight defense mode with him, but I but I make sure I get a couple of items that have both protection and magical power on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. It's it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I I also kind of want to get better at Artemis. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like she's a little underpowered right now, yeah. and I'm a little frustrated by her. So I don't know. That but that's where I am. Well. Bacchus and Artemis. But long run, probably get maybe 10 gods, well, I guess 12 gods up to level one, and then I'll just focus on who I like. I'm not worried about getting everybody. Oh, yeah? No. Cool. Well, that's a pretty good little discussion there. I think that's uh, a nice little capper on the whole show. Yeah. So how about you help us out? Give us some content ideas, some discussions, or we'll just ramble on about stuff that uh, we decide to talk about. You can call us at 662-736-8260 and we'll get those on the show. Also, email us at smiteatdeadworkers.com. Give us some iTunes reviews and uh, join the party, deadworkers.com. Good game. Bye. Oh, and as always, Smite on!